because you get your drunkards and they can't do without the kachasu. So even when you heal them, they have that problem. And so we have declared war against kachasu. From the day, no more kachasu in Lusaka. Anybody found selling kachasu, we are arrested six months in jail. And any house that is being designated for doing kachasu, government will forfeit that house. Some for can in Bayan. You no longer be your house.
600, 700, 700 patients every day. Why? Yeah? Because people are doing it at us. So you have been warned, no more excuse. Thank you very much. And may God bless you. So tomorrow we are unable, unable to expect us. Over to you, Minister. Over. Are you okay? I'm being reminded. If you are going to continue selling Katasso, and you think that you can use Thakari to cross stones, it will not even help you. Because you can many people some Katasso. Then you are more like a chance of that for six months. And it's when you vote for it one week, in 24 hours, 40 people would die. You read the Pagabudana for the past move with six months So that you can jail for six months, Bana, was a boutique name of Papa Isa and Katasoka. <laughs> so, Minister of Local Government can conclude. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Minister. I think in conclusion is to just um, um, explain that today's visit to Matero constituency, George, was extremely revealing, and we have um, since ordered the shutting of the church. We have um, also ordered the shutting of some bars that are sitting adjacent to um, sewer lines that are broken. I'm, I'm sure that the story is connecting the dots. But then I think that this is how our locations generally are. What we saw today probably was just a piece of the iceberg. And so mine is to appeal to the citizens that what we did today was indeed for the good of the whole country. And to say to our citizens, we are appealing for your support in everything that we are doing. I want to thank particularly the two councillors who joined us, for Rilanda and also Matero, and also our worship the mayor of Lusaka, um, Chilando Chitangala. Because this matter, in my view, can be attacked from all angles. The cultural angle, the economic angle, the social angle, in all the religious angle, everybody must come to the party. And this indeed is a defeatable disease because it starts with hope. Earlier on in the morning, I said that charity begins at home. There is no reason for anyone to act irresponsible and denigrate and also just relegate their personal hygiene. So it starts at home. The parents, please make sure you take care of your children. The children are still in their formative stages. They do not know what is dangerous and what is safe. So take the responsibility during and after this period and going forward that everybody must be taught the rule, the law of living in sanitary conditions. Because that is the secret. It's better to be preventive than to find yourself in this place. While this stadium looks so nice outside here, what is going on inside is, is horrific. It is scary. Even as I'm talking now, probably people are battling for their life. As a result of just carelessness, recklessness. So the core is that this is the receiving end, the production end is in the community. Let us stop producing the cholera by transmitting it to the next person, and then this place is going to get some relief. Thank you very much. We will see you in Madevo tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, we have visited, I'm told we've got guests that have brought some donations. <laughs>
Yes, this is it. that uh, this gift has been officially received by the Prime Minister. So thank you very much. Maybe just to add my voice to thank you for all what you have brought because these are the things we need. We have two ones here for babies. Uh, and each one has 100 bed capacity. So two of them. And uh, of course these are mothers coming in very vulnerable families and they cannot afford this baby needs. And because of the condition of hygiene and vomiting continuously, it means they have to change all three other two, three hours. So they can't afford that. So these are really going far in terms of helping us uh, deliver better health services to our patients. And of course, the soaps, they, are, they have to wash the little clothes that they have. We've been lucky that the number of donors have actually brought second hand clothing. So those are the ones that they have to wash. Uh, they could change them uh, several times. Yeah. Yeah, so these gifts that you have brought are timely. And what also is nice for me is the fact that you are in church. And the church has come to our aid. The church is joining hands with us to ensure that we fight. And when the church stands up, we always win. We want the fight against COVID. Zambia is about now 90% in the number of places throughout the country in terms of humidity. We hit the 70% very easily in a very short time because the fact that the church came on board. So we want you as a church to support us, especially when you have your church service, to ensure that you give the message that you are giving of your priests, washing hands, adding glory, making sure that people come to the hospital as quickly as possible. The numbers are going down, but people are still dying. And in the normal situation, the numbers are very, very high. But compared to the 1,100 that we had at one point, now we have 300, tomorrow we have 400, but we to be three to 500. So those numbers are still high, but when you compare, and every day we are releasing over 300 people and in terms of releases, but at the same time, the problem is, as you release 300 people, by 18 hours before midnight, they, you have already, you're already at 200. By the time you're in the morning, they're already 300. Because the compounds are continuing drinking getting water, they're continuing drinking cachaso, the life has just continued. So they leave this place, they go, three days later they come. That's the situation we find ourselves. And that's why now we're going out in the communities to try and sensitize the community 
and to work with them in cleaning up the area so that their mindset is changed. But of course, as a church, we play a bigger role in changing the hearts and the minds of people. And so we are grateful that you are joining hands with government and with everybody, the private and the donors and the partners who have come forward to support us. So these gifts will go a long way. There's accountability here. So just be at peace with what you have donated that it will go to greater use. The only thing we're doing now is we want also to empower the communities, every community. We worked out that we will give every community at least 600 foods so that they, they have food. Some of them may work without foods and it's not a good thing because then we are encouraging the spread of the disease. So thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you and may God bless you and bless your ways. Thank you very much.